the session still now we have been discuss about what is a parallel transport so in today class we will discuss what is a parallel transport here is some uh, definitions so let us start with some definitions definition given two points given two points P and Q and Q in an end surface as in an some problem and surface as a parameterized curve in S a parameterized curve in S from P to Q to Q is a smooth map is a smooth map alpha from close level a b to s with alpha of p is equal to sorry with alpha of a so that is starting point is equal to p and alpha of b is equal to q so we are defining a uh, parameterized curve is smooth map so smooth always we are defining from open sets so we will consider an open set which contains close the well a b or we can say that a smooth map on an open set you are restricting that to close level a b so by smoothness by smoothness of a map alpha map alpha defined on a closed interval defined on a closed interval we mean that we mean that alpha is the restriction to a b alpha is the restriction to uh, a b of a smooth map of a smooth map from some open interval from some open interval containing containing close interval a b to our surface s so this we have discussed many times that is whenever uh, we are saying that from close level a b to our surface s there is a smooth map means actually its meaning is that uh, we should consider an open interval which containing close level a b and we are defining a map from this to our surface so suppose this i am taking us this is alpha this is uh, alpha tilde then alpha tilde restricted to a b is our alpha so this is the condition where alpha tilde is defined from some open interval to our s 
Next, we will see parallel transfer definitions. So each parameterized curve alpha, each parameterized curve alpha from closed level A B to S from P to Q from P to Q determines a map determines a map P alpha from SP to SQ by P alpha of V. V is a vector in your SP. P alpha of V is equal to V of B. So what is this V? This V is the uh, unique parallel vector field along alpha where this V belongs to SP and uh, this V this V is the unique parallel the unique parallel vector field vector field along alpha with v of a is equal to small v and p alpha of v is called p alpha of this v is called The parallel transport or the parallel transport or parallel translate or parallel translate of V along alpha so parallel transport or, or parallel translate is a function p alpha from sp to sq so what is p and q we should specify so each parameterized curve alpha from close level a b to s from p to q determine a map p alpha from sp to sq by p alpha v is equal to v of b where v belongs to sp and this v is the unique parallel uh, vector field defined is the unique parallel vector field uh, along alpha with v of a is equal to v we will say that the initial velocity or initial condition okay now p alpha of v is called the parallel transport or parallel translate of v along alpha so let us see one example example so for a real number theta belongs to a real number let alpha theta we are defining alpha theta so we should take some interval my interval is 0 to pi to s2 be the parameterized curve be the parameterized curve
in the unit joule sphere in the unit joule sphere s2 from the north pole from the north pole p 0 0 1 to the south pole to the south pole q equal to 0 0 minus 1 defined by alpha theta of t is equal to cos theta sin t comma sin theta sin t comma cos t. So this is the condition. Cos theta sin t sin theta sin t and cos t. Thus, this for each theta value alpha theta alpha theta is half of the great circle. Half of the great circle. So great circle we have already discussed. It is the it is the largest circle we can consider in a sphere. So I should consider a sphere over here. Now suppose this is a sphere. Now you have got your axis. One axis. So I'm taking here another one and this one. Next one. Like this. Now it's my x3. This is x1, x2, and this is x1. Now I should consider images of alpha pi by 4. So alpha pi by 4. So when I can see image of alpha pi by 4 means uh, it becomes this my x3. So here is my v because v belongs to sp and here is uh, somewhere here should be my q. Mm, so marking from here to here may come so this may be the image of marking this as alpha pi by 4 next if I am taking alpha pi by 2 so alpha pi by 2 may be somewhere may come like this may come so this may be my alpha pi by 2 and all. Okay. Since uh, whatever given is the relation near squaring and adding can you get it as uh, 1 cos square theta sin square t. So sin square t is common. So sin square t see here when you are squaring and adding this two you will get sin square t right now if sin square t and this one you get it as one okay so definitely it will belongs to the uh, sphere x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square equal to one so squaring you will get cos theta 
sin square theta sin square t sin square theta sin square t so sin square t is common we will get cos square theta plus sin square theta 1 so you will get sin square t next is here cos square t so sin square t plus cos square t you will get it as 1 okay so anyway it will lie on the uh, sphere Now let let v is equal to so we want to find the parallel transport of this point p comma one zero zero which belongs to s p two since alpha theta is a geodesic in s two since alpha theta because we have already proved that it's a geodesic is a geodesic in s2 we have proved that uh, this uh, great circle are geodesics comma a vector field a vector field tangent to s2 tangent to s2 along alpha theta will be parallel will be parallel if and only if it has a constant length say constant length length and keeps constant angle and keeps constant angle with alpha theta dot since it belongs to sp right so alpha theta the one with v is v theta of t is equal to cos theta into alpha theta dot of t minus sin theta into n of alpha theta of t into alpha dot theta of t. So cos theta into alpha dot theta of t minus sin theta into n of alpha theta of t dot alpha theta dot of t. So we want to get since it's a geodesic uh, alpha theta will be parallel. It has a constant length and it gives constant angle with alpha theta of t. Now here n represent the orientation. So I should write this as n. Where n is the is the outward orientation on S2. One can consider the inward orientation too. So, according to that, there should be slight changes in uh, further proceedings. Hence, P alpha theta of V is given to be as 
v theta of b so here b is my pi remembering i define alpha from 0 pi to s s2 so b is pi here now this is equal to v theta i had defined here that's so that's equal to cos theta into alpha dot will come so alpha dot means q comma minus cos theta comma minus sin theta comma last time is cos t so it should be zero and minus sin theta into again q comma minus sin theta comma cos theta comma zero i found only the uh, by using the definition now this is equal to this equal to minus see here will come cos square theta right cos square theta here minus sin theta cos theta so if you want means so we can have this this is equal to I'm writing from here is equal to q comma cos square theta that's minus cos square theta minus sin theta so you can have cos theta right cos theta comma comma uh, minus cos theta sin theta comma 0 minus of q comma sin square theta comma sin theta minus sin theta cos theta 0 so this become q comma cos 2 theta cos square theta sin square, sin square theta minus cos square theta will come so it is cos 2 theta comma see here sin theta cos theta minus cos theta sin theta will be minus yeah minus is that so it will become if I am taking a minus over here it will become sine 2 theta comma 0 thus we have found out the parallel transport so remark the parallel transport is first remark the parallel transport is path dependent path dependent that is if alpha and beta and beta are parameterized curves beta are parameterized curves in S from P to Q and V belongs to SP comma p belongs to s then in general p alpha of v is not equal to p beta of v so this is the meaning of 
parallel transport is path dependent. So the parallel transport depends on which path you will take. Second remark. Remark 2. Tangent vectors Tangent vectors V in SP comma P belongs to S may also be may also be transported along along piecewise smooth curves piecewise smooth curves in s So we have taken alpha to be a smooth curve. So instead of that, you can take the piecewise smooth curves. So how we can find the parallel transport along a piecewise smooth uh, curve? A piecewise smooth parameterized curve. parameterized curve alpha in S is a continuous map is a continuous map alpha from close level a b to S such that such that the restriction of alpha alpha to t i comma t i plus one t i comma t i plus one is smooth is smooth for each For each i equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, extra up to k, where a equal to t naught, which is less than t1, less than t2, extra less than tk plus 1, or uh, you can take yeah, tk plus 1 then this tk plus 1 is b itself so this is the definition for uh, small uh, piecewise smooth so alpha is defined from close to a b to s such that the restriction of alpha to each sub intervals ti ti plus 1 is smooth for each i equal to 0 1 2 3 x naught to k that means uh, we have defined your alpha to be union of uh, smooth curves the parallel transport of v belongs to the parallel transport of the parallel transport of V belongs to S alpha of T naught along alpha to alpha to alpha B is obtained by is obtained by transporting T transporting T along alpha 
to alpha of t1 to get v1 in f alpha of t1 then transporting v1 then transporting v1 v1 along alpha to alpha of t2 to get a v2 and so on and so on finally finally obtaining P alpha of V by transporting by transporting uh, VK will get vector space VK belongs to S alpha of TK along alpha to alpha of b so this says nothing but suppose you have got the surface uh, somewhere here this is going to be your surface and uh, you have got the curve alpha this is going to be piecewise continuous so maybe something like this so this is your alpha of a and this is your alpha of b now you can define somewhere here is alpha of t1 okay somewhere here your alpha of t2 and somewhere here you define alpha of t3 okay now here if you need is alpha of t4 so what you're going to do is from alpha of a to alpha of t1 you will get some like this uh, like the field some v1 now from here to here you can uh, transport this v1 to somewhere here v2 now from here to here again you can go for some v3 and from here to here v4 so finally you will reach alpha of b so like this we can proceed whenever a piecewise smooth curve is given so here you can go through this the parallel transport of v belongs to s alpha of t naught along alpha to alpha of b is obtained by transporting t along alpha to alpha of t1 to get v1 in f alpha of t1 then transporting v1 along alpha to alpha of t2 to get v2 and so on so if you are continuing like this, you will get the parallel transport up to alpha of b. So hope you understood what is the parallel transport. So I am providing up today's session. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you.